I didn't know anything about the Palestinian and Israeli conflict. I read the papers kind of every day, and when I go to the Palestine-Israel issue, I thought, well, it's just religion. This is really complicated. We were invited to go and spend some time in Palestine as part of a Scottish-Palestine solidarity campaign delegation. I knew a bit about the history before I went and about what was happening on the ground, but nothing prepares you to see it. I mean, really, it's a shock. <laughs> The way that the situation is portrayed over here, so far from reality, it just makes you want to do something about it. And for the last few years, we've really focused in on the Palestinian appeal uh, for boycott, divestment and sanctions against anything associated with the Israeli state. The Jerusalem Quartet um, are cultural ambassadors for the State of Israel. So we knew we wanted to, to do some sort of protest and to make the point about boycott. We wanted to raise the issue of Gaza because at the time a lot was happening in the news about the Gaza blockade. The performance was stopped, the Jerusalem Quartet left the stage on most occasions. Whoever it was, was, was then ejected by security guards and once outside arrested by the police. We were kept in the cells for a number of hours, then subsequently charged with breach of the peace. One week before the trial, the Procurator Fiscal said that uh, she'd actually decided to, to drop the case of breach of the peace and bring forward new charges based on new evidence that our protest was racially motivated. Racism should be illegal, but it's not racism when you're dealing with the oppressive policies of a, of a country. Israel's a country, not a race. There was absolutely no racist remarks made whatsoever. There were uh, Jews demonstrating on the very demonstration. This charge is, should be thrown out. It is outrageous, and it is motivated by a desire to shield Israel from criticism. Now, why should that be? We are standing up for justice, decency, against racism, and we're coming up against the Edinburgh Procurator Fiscal. If we were to lose this case, uh, then potentially what it could mean is that, that if anybody to use the terms genocide in Gaza on a public demonstration on the street, or let's say standing at a stall, then they could face a prison sentence as a result and be accused of racial conduct. That's unacceptable in a democracy.